What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about the profit of each estimate or an invoice. How do you determine if you're making enough money, the right amount of money to make sure you're successful and not forgetting about your overhead and all the other problems to run a shop, which is extremely difficult. But before I talk about that, um, there's a lot of customers been asking me about one feature that we had prior in the back and before was, which is was autofill warranty. Uh, when you're creating an estimate, yes, you can have that too. right now. If you check this one here, click on save. And when you create a new estimate, let's go ahead and create a new estimate. And you're gonna see it's already checked right there. So if, I, if I'm doing all change, review and sign, and see the warranty is already there. So yes, I thought this feature, I added this feature uh, for myself back in the days because anyone I keep clicking on warranty I keep forgetting but I'm not saying do it I'm saying if you're one of those who wants it automatically now you have the option to do so otherwise keep it on demand um, with that being said I want to talk about the profit a um, lot of customers right here do not probably especially new customers because the last time I talked about this was like four or five years ago and it's the percentage in the corner. What does that mean? Why is it different colors? And what is it supposed to, how much you're supposed to make? What's the percentage you're supposed to make on each estimate or an invoice? When we talk about percentage, we don't care about, we're not talking about uh, fees, EPA, shop supplies, those are additionals and there is no money in that regard. This is just to cover certain stuff. Uh, but the, the primary, when you do a job like an alternator, right? Uh, how how much you're supposed to charge they don't know that they, they, they think okay well let me go by the the hourly rate which is fine I'm not saying go that but you gotta have a percentage to to remember that you know well you know I have I have electric bill I have rent I have uh, employees how you gonna make how much you're supposed to make money and I have I know so many shops man one of them that breaks my heart because he's such a good person and he works so hard man. he works till 10 11 o'clock at night but his percentage is like this and lower. And that percentage right here in the corner I'm talking about, it should be 70%. I mean, you cannot make it, like your average should be 70%. That percentage right here in the corner, it should be average 70%. That's why it's colored, that's why it's in the corner, that's why you don't have to click on it to know if you're making money or not. On this old change right here, I'm not making money right here, right there, I'm not making money. So you need to fix that. You shouldn't be making 55%. I mean, all change is not really my primary. Primary things is is jobs, right? Like alternator, condensers, uh, brake job, any brake job. If if you did a brake job and this thing is red right there, it's telling you you're messing up. So let's let's do, let's take a look at this real quick. So let let's go ahead and, and get some uh, brakes uh, rear pads in order for this track hog. I haven't done this in a long time. <laughs> I used to do it on a daily basis. I, don't, I know they don't have the front because it's a Brembo, so let's look at the rear. So let's add, let's say I'm doing this, brake pads and these rotors, right? Submit and transfer. And let's go ahead and add the labor, um, brake pads slash rotors, replace. Rear, oh, it's right there, perfect. And I added last time, let's say 1.3. All right, if you look at that, it's 69%. You see, because everything is set. This is, I know I'm making money of this job. Where am I at right here? So please, I'm begging you, keep an eye on that percentage right there. It's supposed to be close to 70 or even if anything. And just to let you know, this is your profit. Uh, as a shop owner, it's between 60 and 70. Uh, if uh, less than fit, less than 60 percent, uh, you you probably you're making some money, but you're not making money as a shop owner. Between 60 and 70, anything over 70, this is the this is the best time ever. Anything over 70, and that happens sometimes because there's no parts, right? Or sometimes you know I don't know, you get a good deal on the parts. So your job, I I would be looking, this is me, this is me, I was like, oh, okay, I need it to be 70 because, you know, there's jobs where I can make sure I can make it 70. It's really simple. I'm like, you know what, how much is the rotor? 96, I want to make it 
$98. I want to sell it for $98.36. And then update. It still didn't give it to me. See, that's how hard is it? <laughs> and let's say let's maybe $75.49. Update. And let's go back to here. Maybe let's make this 1.4. Update. There we go. This is, this is, it's all in the labor. See, me knowing that I'm over, I'm 70 or over on a break job, which is the hardest one to make it on the break job, by the way, because it's, it's pretty close. Like, you cannot charge two hours. Even though sometimes, trust me, if you break one bolt, that one hour becomes two hours or three hours. Not to mention you're trying to look for a bolt that doesn't exist anyway, especially the caliper bolt. So, yes. For the love of God, I mean, you can click on that. There is no need, but you can click on it. The whole idea, if you see this one in the green, and the, the fact that it's green and it's kind of faded, it's intentionally this way. Uh, because we're not trying to advertise uh, the, what is that number for, right? This is only for the shop owner to understand what's going on, or for the service writer to make sure that he's doing his job right. So for the love of God, make sure... You're especially like how do you know like I don't I obviously you cannot do that on every job we know that we're aware of that but your job is to at the in the average if I go back to here and and go to the daily and switch it to the monthly right for let's say for for April let me see where April all right see how it says profit on parts and labor I told you we don't care about it because the other one the, the, it's not really a profit when you're charging shop supplies fee, but right there, 88%. Oh man, that's sick if you can do that, but that's not real. It's because it's not real invoices. 67%. You need to look at this chart right here. And this chart right here, you're supposed to be averaging 70%. And if you're not averaging 70% or above, you need to pay attention to that because let me tell you something, my friend. You're doing the work and you're doing everything right that one thing man you leave on the table it's just money wasted another reminder man you're not there to have fun this is i even though you love what you do and i get that your your job is for one thing to make money so you can feed your family one and two in exchange of that fix the car to your best ability when i fixed the cars i gave it everything that i could to make sure you do that I, I love money and everything, but make sure you give it everything you could. You could. I put so many extra stuff. I used to lift the car up and see something rattling. I fix it for them. Anyway, I hope this helps. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.